Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In this video series on my Jeep and we were started investigating the P0303, which was originally a misfire cylinder number three, which is gonna be an interesting video coming up on that because once I pulled the intake manifold off and I looked at the injectors, something interesting came up. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. If you remember the compression test we did a long time ago, we had cylinder number five had 100 PSI. We need to investigate that with a cylinder leakage tester. Now we're gonna also use this on cylinder number two because cylinder number two had 140 PSI, which is only 10 PSI different. So this is it right here, the OTC cylinder leakage tester, model number 5609. Now test results is very important. Air escaping from crankcase breather, defective rings are worn cylinder walls, air escaping from exhaust system, defective exhaust valve, Air escaping from carburetor, defective intake valve, air bubbles and radiator, leaking head gasket or crack and blocking head. So we already got the radiator off, so we can only really go off these ones here. So let's get this set up. So I'm just going to point this out in case you decide to buy this on your Jeep 4.0. The hose that it comes with is not going to work. It's an M14 thread, and this is the one that comes with the kit. And the way your plugs are, it's recessed too much, so they're not going to be able to get. So what I had to do is take this hose right here out of my compression tester kit. And that's the one we're going to use. So unfortunately, with this tester, that's a problem you're going to have on the Jeep 4.0. I can't say what it's going to be like for other vehicles, but let's get this set up. It's got a rubber O-ring. Thread it in finger tight. Should create a seal, hopefully. So what you want to do now is crank the engine over by hand until it's at top dead center on the compression stroke. You don't necessarily need to have the valve covers off. I'm just showing it because not only am I taking the engine apart, doing an engine swap, but just for that you guys can see clearly, you can stick something in the cylinder too, like a little rod as you crank it over slowly and bring it up to the top. You'll know, you can put your finger over it for compression when it's coming up. Anyways, let's crank this over. Well, you can see, looks like the exhaust stroke is coming up. Intake, open and closed. Compression stroke right now. Whoops. Let's crank this up again slowly. Yeah, I just spun again. Yeah. Try this again. I got the crankshaft locked. Because I got all the spark plugs out, so that must make a difference. Because I never had a big issue with it creeping before. So let's crank this up now. Crank this up to 90. At 90 PSI, we're reading 85 on the pressure gauge on the cylinder, which means, according to the sheet, 6% leakage. Now we're gonna come over here. Number two is not the cylinder we really need to worry about, so let's just back this off fully. Then we're gonna go in cylinder number five and see what the hell's going on. Number five, same thing. Crank her over. Oh, we're actually right there. Yeah. Where's my little rod? All right. Compression was low on this one. At 100 PSI. Let's 
the leak down isn't as bad as I thought. Isn't as bad as I thought. Just cranked this right up. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, the science is settled, and that kind of leaves me confused. Super low compression, but the leak down test comes out fine. That's just crazy talk. So let's look at these readings again. The readings in the blue on the left were from a few years ago. And then I put some Marvel Mystery Oil in my last oil change. And then the compression readings on the right are the readings that we got not that long ago. So you can see a big difference there. Now this is what I was expecting on that leak down. I just have the valve, the exhaust valve is open a little bit. But that's what I was expecting on the leak down test. But that's not the case. So at this point, I'm kind of at a loss of what's going on. Unless, of course, you know, the cylinder is damaged somewhere. Maybe there's some big scores in there or something. I don't know. But at top dead center, doing the leak down test, man, it's like perfect. So with the compression of 100... There's leakage going on somewhere, so I don't know if the cylinder's damaged. I don't know. I'm going to leave that for you guys to discuss in the comments and what you guys think. What is going on with this engine? Why is the big difference in compression readings from a few years ago to now? And the only thing that has changed is that we had supercharged engine for a year, plus I used Marvel Mystery Oil. I'm going to leave that for you guys to ponder in the comments. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.